All right, hello everyone. I feel like it's like super dark. Turn some lights on here. All right, let's see. Yeah, it's a little better. I don't know why it feels like so dark in here. It's like, it was super sunny and then the sun like went away. The sun left me. Hello, Pamela. Hello, hello everybody. Let me just get myself situated. All right. Thanks for bearing with me for the time change. I had to teach class this morning. Um, so it was just easier to do that. So here we are. Happy November. Holy cow, November, guys. This year's almost over. I can't believe it. So here we are. Here we are. Let me see. All right. Oh, let's see what we got going on. What do we got? We have the Nancy Hendrickson tomorrow. Um, she is going to be here at 9 Pacific, 12 noon Eastern. So definitely come and hang out with me. We have All Saints Day, All Souls Day. Perfect time for her to come hang out with us. And we're going to be talking about all things um, with working with your ancestors, tarot, um, and whatever else pops up. You know me, always something, something always pops up. So we will be doing that. Um, and then next week, actually next Tuesday, <clears throat> um, we have Vix. So Vix is going to come on and chat with us. And she has her deck, um, Angels Among Us. What up? I have it here. Hold on. Angels Among Us. We're going to be chatting about that and all those fun things. So that is, she's in Australia, so it's actually um, Wednesday there, I believe. So yeah, but Nancy, we have tomorrow, she's coming on, and she wrote um, Ancestral Tarot, um, which is a fantastic book. It's, it, I love how it, you can kind of really just work along with it. And I know, um, where is Amber Tarot Nerds, right? She does like kind of like a a thing with it there. Um, she has her Patreon, definitely hit up her Patreon. She does a lot of stuff there. Um, and I think she's chatting with somebody today too. So go check her out. She has all the things going on. She is super cool. So, um, what else do we have? What else do we have? I'm looking here to see before we get started. What else? I feel like there's so much going on with the new moon. We have the new moon coming up. Um, that's on Thursday. So there is that going on. Um, so for, there's also a lot of like planetary energies happening. Um, today we have the moon in Virgo and um, it's kind of opposing. We also have Neptune and Pisces, which is like an opposing thing. So, but it's also um, just increasing our empathy and just like other people's feelings and stuff like that. And it's a great day for ancestor work too. Um, oh, all right. There you go. She's going to be doing some readings on her IG. Um, so definitely check her out there. Um, and then what else do we have going on? Um, we have, what else? What else? Yeah, just really, um, kind of just sympathy for others and working on, you know, I think today's really like these next couple of days, like just with the energy of the planets, it's a really great day to start working on all of the, um, you know, that ancestor stuff. And even if you're, you know, how to, or you want to, you can always get Nancy's book, but sometimes just taking a moment and just thinking about, thinking about them and thinking about how all of that goes. Um, I'm going to actually be speaking, um, at the green wild festival next Saturday at 10 Eastern, um, about creating an ancestral altar. So that is, you know, I'm, I'm like all about all that stuff too. And for me, it's really important because a lot of times maybe our ancestors weren't the greatest. Maybe our, um, we don't know our history. Maybe we were adopted or we don't know what our ancestors or who they are. So, uh, you know, I, I talk about how to create an altar, um, in that situation too, okay, I'm, I'll go through kind of all the situations and, you know, give you ideas how to create an altar that way so that you can still create an ancestral altar, even though maybe, you know, 
you're not really connected with your ancestors or you don't vibe with them or whatever, but there's still things that you can do. And um, this time of year is just such great energy for that. So I really do love that. Um, while we have this, you know, our new moon is in Scorpio. And with it being in Scorpio, there's a lot of um, a lot of energy with it because it's our we have the new moon in Scorpio, and then it, it's actually opposing Uranus and square Saturn. So it's a very intense. Like this is an intense new moon. So if there's some like really like relationship type things you want to bring in or. Um, big changes and that sort of thing. This is a really good moon to work with that. And I believe this is our, yeah, this is our only new moon, obviously, in the year. And, you know, it's also not a great time to, um, for spending. So this week, watch your spending because you may be getting some sort of like feeling some sort of way and you might want to start spending money and all of that. And that's really just the planets being whatever they're doing being all squared with each other. So just think about, be mindful on your spending this week. That's my advice to you. And my advice to myself, right? <laughs> Definitely to myself. Um, yeah, yeah, and it doesn't need to be your blood ancestors. Absolutely, you know, and that's something I, I talk about a lot because, um, you know, even personally for myself, I don't know a lot of, I don't know a lot about my family history. I know little bits here and there. And for me, like, I had had my ancestry done, and I am, like, l like a little bit of everything. Like, there's so many things. So sometimes it's even hard to figure that out, too, because I don't really have contact, like, with, with relatives and stuff like that, you know? And it's definitely just, you know, one of those things. What did you, Pam? I just bought an expensive camera for recording my videos. <laughs> All right, well, that's work-related. And, you know, if you already bought it, I'm just saying from, like, now on, you know, like, even getting into, like, we'll say, when is the, the new moon's on Thursday. So let's just say Wednesday on. I'll give you guys a little buffer so you can do what you got to do. But after that, just watch what you're doing. That's all. Um, that's so funny. I love it. So, yeah, so that's that's what we got there. And today um, I'm going to be using... Even though, like, I mean, really, Samhain, some people celebrate it on the astrological date, and then some people celebrate it, you know, yesterday or whatever. For me, it's kind of like a whole, like, two-week situation. I think the astrological is ninth. I think that's when the, like, astrological Samhain is. Um, so I really think that, you know, it all depends on what you want to do, but then it kind of gives you that buffer to, like, do other things and stuff like that. It's a decent time to be investing in our business. Yeah, I mean, it's really all about um, where where in your life do you want to make those big transformational changes and using and being mindful. You know, it's all about being mindful and being mindful of how you want money to come in, you know, and how you want. So if you're investing in your business, I mean, that's it's not like you just went out and spent whatever on, I don't know, something crazy that you're probably not going to use. So I think that was a mindful decision, Pamela. I think so. And I didn't, I didn't shuffle these, of course. So let's shuffle these. These are a lot of fun, actually. And then I'm going to just keep on going. Yeah, because it is a season. I was watching, I was looking at something and there was like a meme that said like, oh, November 1st, back to being weird again. <laughs> it's so true. It's so true. Because I had on one of my other... I have skulls on this sweater. Like, look, at, I like how they're, like, hiding. Um, I had one of my, like, Halloween sweaters on. So it's like, oh, I love your sweater. And it's like, I probably... I mean, obviously, you guys appreciate it, But she was, like, at the furniture store. Like, she wouldn't say that any other time. I'm like, that's fine. Thank you. These are just my everyday clothes. So we shall shuffle these guys up. Look at the backs. The backs of these are so much fun. Look at this. So much fun. I should probably just put a reminder in my thing. Shuffle new decks. That's all right. It's fine. It's all fine. We got home from Nashville last night. Probably... I don't even know, 10.30-ish or so. 
So your girl's tired today, not gonna lie. So I'm just running a little slow, it's fine. But hey, already recorded videos, taught class, and here we are. So things are moving, just not as quick as they usually do. Um, oh, and then the Oracle card, the Oracle cards I wanted to use were the Halloween Oracle because of course, because of course. So we're gonna get those out. We're just doing Halloween all over the place. All right, let's get started. Yeah, these, they are cute. Okay. And this is a, the Jack-O-Lantern Tarot is a Los Garabayo. Which I, you know, I always like them because I feel like their cards are all a little spicy. Like they're super cute, but they got a little edge to them. I can appreciate that. I can appreciate that. So let us, let us get started here. Rated Aries. See, I'm tapping into my Aries moon today to keep me moving and motivated for the day. All right. So we have, what do we have? We have the Ten of Pentacles. You know, Aries, you're just going right into it. <laughs> so this week, I do think this is, you know, kind of what we were talking about. Um, hi, Kelly. Um, is just tapping into... Um, looking at our finances, looking at where our money is going. Look at it. Look, he's got the pentacles and his little skull eyes. And just really thinking about and like organizing. I feel like that's what you, where you are at this week, Aries. Um, and maybe if you aren't at this point, what can you do to get to this point? Maybe this moon, you need to like let go of some stuff and some bad habits to, in order to reach this 10 of pentacles situation. So, so yeah, there's that. Let's see, let's see what we have here. These are like super simple little backs, but they are cute. I have my window open, so there's gonna be a mean, mean glare happening. So with this one, um, trick or treat. Oh, look how cute. <laughs> it says M mischief and play. So maybe Aries, Maybe you're being too serious about it. Maybe you do need to take a step back and relax, do something fun, and then kind of go back to it and revamp your finances, revamp what you want things to look at. Because maybe that Ten of Pentacles is looking a little bit different these days. Maybe it isn't what you thought it would be. So it's time to kind of go back to the drawing board and being okay with it, not making it a stressful thing. I think you can do it. I think you can. So, Taurus. And if you'd like a card, me to pull a card for you, go ahead and put it in the, the comments. Or we can try the little question thingy again. I don't know. I feel like sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Like, I'm determined to make it work. But, you know, you can only do so much. My luck tomorrow, it'll be gone. I'll be like, yeah, use it. And I won't be there. Or it's or it'll be for something completely different. Excuse me, I had a cough. <clears throat> I have like tickle in my throat today. All right, Taurus, what do we have? Yeah, don't be attached. So we have here, I'm just looking at these cards. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. Seven of Cups. So Taurus, Seven of Cups. So I, I kind of love this for you for this month because I want you to be open to options. Um you know, we do have a lot of the Scorpio energy. It's very transformational energy. And I would really want you to be mindful of what your options are and what the option, the best option is for you. Because sometimes the option that is in front of us and maybe even the one that we think that we have to take isn't really the best for us. So be sure to just kind of take a moment to consider the options and the outcome that you want. So Taurus, it's all about business for you. And then we got strength. I love that. So again, as you know your options, be strong in that and call on your on your strength to help you um, kind of guide you in those decisions that you have to make this month because um, they may be attached to emotion. So maybe, you know, and with this energy going on this whole month, really, um, there may be a lot of emotional energy attached to it. So what can you do to let it go? What can you do um, to move past it? 
right? And even, you know, kind of taking a note too, like, and then releasing it on the full moon, um, just as you go through the month, like these next two weeks or so, and just see what pops up for you, write it down, put in your notes app in your phone or something so that you know that what you need to kind of push out of the way so that you're able to make like a clear, good decision for yourself or your family or your work, whichever, whatever pops up for you. So then that brings us to Gemini, Gemini. All my Geminis are grumpy today in my house. So we're just kind of avoiding for a little while anyway. It happens, it happens. Although I'll, I'll, I'll give, I'll give it to Jay though. Cause he did drive. He's, he's like a marathon driver. I don't know how he does it. I get too squirrely, even just sitting in the driver's seat. I just like, I have to bring like 10 different books because I'll read it for like five minutes and be like, okay, I'm done with this. <laughs> but it actually, you know, we drove from New York to Nashville. It wasn't, it wasn't a terrible drive actually. It wasn't that bad because you don't have to go through any like super big cities. So it's kind of a straight run. So that was very nice. That was nice for sure. So where are we? Gemini. Gemini. We have the Page of Pentacles. Oh, cool. Look at that. I kind of look like there's like Medusas on, um, on his feet. See, that's very Gemini-ish today. That's my life Gemini today, the Medusas. Both of them are just kind of like, meh. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm not making fun of anybody. I swear. I'm just, I'm just seeing facts. That's all I'm doing. Okay. So Gemini's page of pentacles. I think for you, it's all about just, you know, embracing it, embracing the day, embracing what it brings and trying not to Medusa anybody. <laughs> No one do say anybody, Gemini's. Um, you know, you there are things going on, there are situations that need to be dealt with, and I do feel like with this, it's you know, our page is kind of like our teenager, right? So they're quick to make decisions. You know, they they know better, but they're still quick to make decisions. So I think for you, Gemini's, it's all about taking a pause, taking a minute before you speak, taking a minute before you put in put forth some action and really think about that. <laughs> right? I know. I want Medusa boots. That's kind of cool. And then he's got like, I'm going to say like a cat. Like, can we call it a cat corset? Can we all get a cat corset? I would love that. <laughs> Let's do it. Hello. Hello. Um, so Gemini's, I think it's all about just putting one foot in front of the other and kind of going slow with it and not, you know, don't, don't put both feet first. Cause then you're going to like double Medusa somebody. <laughs> yeah, I know. That was a perfect time, Pam. Well, we're talking about Gemini's and I'm talking about, um, the Gemini's in my house are grumpy today. So then we have, look, Medusa boots. Look at those. And then the cat corset. So it's happening. Gemini's. Just a lot of energy there. There's a lot of energy there, and you got this, <laughs> right? Um, and you know, I'm going with maybe, maybe even some grounding for you, Gemini's. Maybe you know, just again, just taking that pause. Even if you are ready to get into it, go run your hands under some cool water. Go outside, take a breath before you get it started. Let's see what oracle card we have. <laughs> that is good. That is perfect. I know. See, and look, I have like my Medusa earrings on too. See, it's all over the place. It's happening. So dawn, the light after the darkness. So you know what? Hang in there. Hang in there, Geminis. You know, it's okay. And you know, I also think for you too, with this new moon coming and all this energy is knowing that when you move through it, that that's like the dawn. That's like the beginning. That's like, okay. You got this. So, which, you know, for Gemini, maybe talking through it. Maybe there's somebody you can talk through it with. Um, and then that brings us to Cancers. All right, Cancers, what do we have? Right, right. Oh, yeah, look, I'm using the Jack-O-Lantern Tarot today and the Halloween Oracle. 
but I wanted to show, look, Pam, here's the back of that. Look at the owls. I wanted to show you. All right. So that brings us, yeah, it's really fun. I, I did, um, I walked through it and I've been, I haven't really gotten to totally use it just yet. So I've had it here because you know what? I'm going to tell you, when was it? Last week or the week before I got like a ton of, like a whole bunch of new decks came in. So I kept meaning to use this one, but then the other ones, shiny penny syndrome. I got it. It happens. I can't help it. All right, cancers. What do we have for you? We have a jumper. That's what we have for you. Actually, we have two cards for you, Cancers. Two jumpers. Very interesting, too. So we have the Hierophant, and then we have the Queen of Swords. So the Hierophant kind of popped out on top, and I think Gemini... Um, no, we're getting off Gemini. Cancers. Cancers. Um, I think for you, I don't know, For the first thing that pops in my head, Cancer, is going back to the drawing board. Um, I think it's, it's a really good idea for you two to go back to the drawing board this week and also to seek out those you get advice from. Who are those people that you know are going to tell you like it is no matter what, but in a loving way or an informative way, or maybe they have advice for you because I think for you, it's more of like, I feel like this new moon too is more of like a seeking for you, Cancer. Like you need to seek out the answers. They're not going to just fall into your lap. Um, and with say, with that being said, I have the queen of swords. So I do feel that, you know, it's not so much embracing the queen of swords. It's more about being mindful of it. Watch your words. They are, you know, your words are your swords, right? And I think if you do not seek counsel, if, if you do not find someone who can kind of level things out for you that you're going to be busting through this week, slinging all sorts of things and saying things that you probably shouldn't be or that you can't take back. And that's, I think, really the important part. And I do think that's where the hair font comes in. Like, is re that reminder of like, listen, you can say all these things, you can speak your mind, but if you're not doing it in, in that mindful um, way that you can really hurt feelings and you can really change situations um, that you maybe didn't mean to change. So that is something to think about, Cancer. Man, that is, this is like heavy duty week. We got all the things happening. <laughs> so let's see. <clears throat> Joy, rejoicing in the present. I think too, it's also about, you know, in saying all of this that I just said with those cards is just being in the moment, you know, not looking back to the past, not looking to the future because it hasn't happened yet. It's all just about being mindful uh, or being present in what's going on today and being grateful for that. Being grateful for um, the people that are around you, being grateful for what you have. And sometimes when we practice that gratitude, it kind of brings us down too. Like if we're kind of in that, in our like headspace, like throwing swords around, right? So something to think about, cancers. All right, come on now. I thought the whole deck was going to go on the floor for a minute. That would not be good. All right, let's see. I managed to like, oh no, I'm okay. I thought I like had half up and half down. I told you, told you, tired today. So that brings us to Leo's, to all my Leo's out there. Come on now, I'm trying to wave. Hello, hello. So if you um, just joined us to um, just a reminder that tomorrow I am talking with Nancy Hendrickson. Um, she is the author of Ancestral Tarot. That's going to be at 9 Pacific and noon Eastern. So you definitely want to hop in on that. Um, and, you know, we had that, you know, we have All Souls Day, All Saints Day and all of that going on. And we figured that would be the perfect time for this. So there is that. And then also to um, a reminder that the um, pre-order is still open for, pre-order sale is still open for the magazine um, for 11.11. So you want to hop on that because we have a really great legacy issue coming out. Um, 
and also to just be mindful um, as we move into the busy mailing and shipping season. Um, some of the shipping and mailing will take a little bit extra and that probably, you know, and that will probably trickle down to us in the magazine and all that as well. But just know that you'll get it and it'll be there and patience. Patience is virtue, is it not? It's hard to. It's hard to be patient, but the big, the really great thing, 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 you like that? The great thing is um, that if you have a subscription, then you have access to the eZine too. And if you haven't seen that before, I did make a post, um, I think it was yesterday, um, just doing kind of a walkthrough of it. So there's that too. And she has a new book. Oh, I didn't know she had a new book. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, so Leo. Leo, we have the chariot, which is very Leo-ish. So Leos, you have a lot of things in the works this month. I feel like there's a lot of changes, a lot of, you know, I guess we're just jumping into also that Scorpio energy, that the transformations, the changes, things are happening. Um, new things are being set into place to, you know, get you, I feel like this is like, whatever is going on this month or whatever you have to do this month is going to carry you into the new year. So it's really important and it's really important that you do it, um, you know, knowing exactly what's going on all around you. Um, you know, the chariot here is always like, you know, it's kind of moving forward, right? And just going forward, which you definitely want to full steam ahead. But I do think it's important to kind of remember what's behind that. What are you leaving behind? Why are you leaving it behind? Um, almost kind of like a shadowy work type thing, you know, like just really pay attention to that. Because I feel like that you need to, Leo's, Pay attention to what you're leaving behind and give it that time and space so it stays there. So that brings us to, that brings to Skull of Darkness, Blind Spots. So that actually is really funny, right? Because that's exactly kind of what I was just talking about, the blind spots, those things behind you on the sides of you that you know are there but you're not giving attention to. And I like that he kind of has this light on his head. So it's kind of shining that on the situation. Like it's shining on the blind spots. So those two went really well together. I like that. So next we have Virgos. What do we got, Virgos? What do we have? Let's see. Shuffle, shuffle the thing. Ah, I love it. Three of Wands. Look at that. Yes, Virgo. <laughs> All right, Virgos. We have the Three of Wands. You know, you're looking ahead. You're seeing what your options are. You're seeing, you know, um, <laughs> yeah, no virgins, just, just Virgos. Um, you have decisions to make, you know? I feel like with the new moon too, it's really important for you to put the decisions that you really feel good about into play because there are so many things happening. There's so there's so much energy around and it's easy to kind of get caught up in it. And here, you know, it's kind of funny because like up here, like they kind of look like airplanes, but I know they're probably like crows or whatever. I feel like, you know, like the haters are up here. They're like, listen, don't do this. Don't do that. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. And I feel like you need to just be really stable and rooted and grounded in what you want, why you want it, and set it in motion on the new moon. So there is that. There it goes. And then we have Jack or Lan Jack -o Lantern Protection. Um, and I love that this actually came up with this because like, you know, I noticed these, you know, these up here and I feel like that you need to energetically protect yourself because those, those negative things are going to want to pop through. And so, you know, and it's not something to like be alarmed about, like, oh no, people are talking to me. It's just kind of like make it a habit. Like, you know what? I'm putting that barrier up. I'm putting my boundaries up, making sure your boundaries are set. That's the word we're going to go with is boundaries. So I don't know. That's what, that's what we have for it goes. You got, I feel like there's a lot going on. I feel like there's a lot going on for everyone. Who am I kidding? 
So that brings us to Libra. All right, Libras. Woo. And, uh, you know, if anyone wants me to pull a card for them, let me know. Let me know. All right. Libras. No. I'm a Libra son, so here we go. I know, right? I know. That was a good one. That was a good card. All right. So we have, for you, Libras, Six of Swords. You know what? It's time to leave the ship behind and move forward. Time to let it go. Um, Virgos. No, not Virgos. Libras. I should know that I'm a Libra sign. So Libras, you know, for you, new moon, energy. It's time to let go. I feel like relationships is popping up for me and it's time to really let go of some of this crap that isn't working for us. Hey, JV. Um, that isn't going to serve you. That isn't helping you along your path. You know, it's all that stuff. It's time to just get in and just go and just leave that stuff behind because it's trying to drag you down. It's trying to hold you back. It's time to not let that. It's time to, you know, really take one of those swords out and just cut those cords and just let them, let them float away, right? Let them not be a part of you anymore. So... Let's see what we got here. Hello, Kathy. We have Apple. Risk and reward. Oh, that one's perfect. So, again, taking that risk of cutting those cords and letting things go, right? Like, that is the perfect one. And just saying, you know, and doing it. And I like that this is kind of like, this is a heart. Because, like, you could do it in a loving way, right? And just kind of cover all your bases. Like, you know what? None of these things are working for me. Cutting these cords. Goodbye. But I do it in a loving way. Thank you for the lessons you taught. Peace out, right? So let's, let's see if the little question thing works. Yeah, it worked. I always tell people everywhere, Pam, I'm always telling people use this little question thing because I want to see if it works and it worked. Yay. All right. Let's pull a card for you while we do that. I am, I don't want to keep like, okay. Okay. Here we go, Pam. I'm going to pull a card for you. No, I get so excited when it works. We were using it the other day and it wasn't like really working. I was not happy about it, but today it's working. We shall take it. All right. What card are we getting? The Four of Pentacles. So Pam, I think for you though, it's more of like, you need to do this. <laughs> I know, right? Um, I feel like that you need to kind of hold your cards close to you this, you know, today. Like, don't tell unnecessary people. I know. Look at the owl. Oh, yeah, he is super cool. Look at him. And then look in the clouds. Like, I love that. I feel like that you kind of have to keep your cards close to your chest this week. I feel like that people may be asking questions or trying to um, get information out of you that you shouldn't be sharing, that you don't need to be sharing. And you may feel like, you know, you may not even think of it like, oh, you know, I should probably just tell them it's fine. Or maybe I should share this with them. No, keep it close to you um, because today's not the day for that. And those people asking those questions um, probably aren't doing it in a very positive, energetic way. That was fancy. All right. So that brings us to Scorpio. Hello, Inner Fatco. Fatco. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that. Sorry. I only tell you. <laughs> yes, yeah, right. Right, right, right. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yes. See, let's see if I could make it to the end of this without like totally chomping all my words up. I drank a cup of coffee before this. I really did. Oh yeah, we always have to tell Jamie all the things. Jamie's like a good luck charm, I think. Okay. Scorpios. Hello, hello. Um, all right, Scorpios. What do I have for you? Oh my god. So there's like an owl in every card, I think. Look at the owl in this card right above her head. How cute. I like him. This is very interesting. And for some reason, like, this guy's popping out for me. He's like, what's up? <laughs> um, all right, Scorpio. You know what? It's, it's your season. What are you going to do with it? Right? What are you going to do with it? So, um, <laughs> oh, you totally are. 
So yeah, so it's, you know, I think Scorpios, it's time for you to tap into your energy. You know, it's going and it's happening. And what are you going to do with it? What are you setting forth? And I feel like that's almost like that owl is popping out. Like he's all like, perched on your head, like ready to go. He's like, okay, here we are. What what are you doing? What's going on in that head? What are we setting forth? What are we starting new? Um, and I love that. So that's what we got for you, Scorpio. No dilly dallying for you, Scorpios. It's time for you to get moving. All right. Ooh, look at it. And I got the death, the death card there. So that is um, the eternal cycle begins here. I don't know if this isn't like the best like Scorpio new moon card, then I don't know what is right because he kind of even looks like a moon, right? Like he's kind of glowy. But what are you doing? What are you changing? What is transforming for you this month? And especially for you Scorpios. Definitely. All right. That brings us to Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius, what do we got for you? You know, and you know, I always saw it is the Scorpio theme. Oh my gosh, like all these cards are totally Scorpio theme. And you know, I think, I think too with, you know, and I'm talking, you know, I'm talking about going into, we're in the Scorpio season. We got the new moon in Scorpio, all that, you know, Sometimes I think that kind of, I don't want to say scares people, but kind of freaks them out. Um, yeah, I am on Sagittarius. Yes, I had Libra and Libra. Let me see if I can remember what it was. Does anyone remember? Give me a minute. I might remember it. Um... Yes, uh, just about, um, you know, going, doing that deep work, the transformational energies, and that may freak some people out. And I think that, you know, you just kind of have to go to it where you're at. So some people are ready to dive in. They're all like, woohoo, let's go and starts tearing up all the stuff. But other people are like, no, this scares me. And I think knowing where you're at is really important when you do deep work and when you move, when you're trying to move forward and little baby steps happen as well. You know, it's always, um, you know, taking baby steps is okay. Maybe if you're just scratching the surface of it, that's okay too. Um, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Sagittarius, what do you have with three of cups? All right, Sagittarius, you know what? What are you doing this week? What are you doing to have some fun? What are you doing with your people? You know, where are your people? What are they doing? Maybe you need to check in on them, right? Try to do something like, you know, that is along the lines, maybe shooting them a text or whatever, maybe getting together if that is, you know, in person or virtual, whatever works for you. And I think it's just tapping into that playful energy and being around other people. I think that's really important for you, Sagittarius, this week. And, um, and seeing how you feel afterwards. See how you feel before you hang out with someone or friends, good friends, obviously, and then see how you feel after. And maybe that's something that you need to do um, and you need to think about and work on. Maybe you aren't, you know, you've been putting off making plans. Maybe you haven't really felt like going out with anyone. But I think this week, try to do it, even if something little, again, like a virtual coffee date, something. I think you need to do that. All right, so that brings us to oracle card cauldron synergy and healing see that goes right along with it these cards are playing really nice together i have to say um sagittarius like again you know i really think it's that energy you need that energy you know of your friends and there because there may be some healing there for you and in that so capricorn we got capricorns Wow. I keep wanting to throw these cards everywhere. All right. So we have justice. So Capricorn, I feel that there are things that are going on, maybe for you that really aren't in your best interest, are fair, um, and that it's something that you need to look at. It's, and you know, 
sometimes when we have situations like that going on, we just, all right, it's fine. I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it, you know, tomorrow or next week or next month, whatever. But I think, again, it's that time to bring it up and really look at it and decide why do you feel like maybe a situation isn't fair? Or maybe if you want to flip that, maybe you're not being fair in a situation. Maybe it is you, you know, we always want to say it's not us, it's everyone else. But sometimes it is us. And sometimes recognizing that is like the biggest um, healing, you know, you can have. Because sometimes you do have to realize, you know, we can help you a jerk sometimes. It happens. I mean, I try not to be a jerk, but it does happen. And I'll admit it, you know, but we, but we can come back from it. What can you do to change that, right? So whichever side of that, Capricorn, that's what you need to work on. And try not to be stubborn. When you, when you um, come to whatever that realization may be for you. Because we always want to do that. I mean, we can all be stubborn. Some more than others, but it happens. So zombie. Oh, honey. That, <clears throat> that's funny. Control. <laughs> that goes along with that. See, like, it's a letting go of that control sometimes, right? Because Capricorns kind of like to, like, organize, have everything organized in a certain way. But maybe you need to let go of a little bit of control this month. Or week. We won't say month because that's a long time. We'll just say week. So Aquarius. All right. Let's see. All right, Aquarius. So if anybody just hopped on too, make sure to join me tomorrow with Nancy Hendrickson. Um, we're going to talk about ancestral tarot and apparently some new things because I didn't know she had some new a new book going. And then next week, we'll be chatting with Vix next Tuesday. So look out for that post. All right. So that brings us to Aquarius. All right. Eight of Wands. That's I love that the corn stalks have skulls on top of them. I'm trying to look here and see. And then they have like kind of like demon butterflies, which is really funny because I have... Um, I don't know if you can see. I have like demon butterflies. Like you can see one little one here. It's like a demon butterfly. And they have like demon butterflies on here. I'm about that. I like this card. <laughs> so Aquarius, it's all about action for you. And I think it's about just letting go of all of these thoughts. Like all of these, you know, limiting beliefs and thoughts about what you can and can't do. And just go for it. Because I feel like there's something calling you. And you are keeping yourself from going. And it's time to just strip that away and take some action. So take action, Aquarius. All right. That brings us to our uncle card. So spider, community, and web weaving. All right. I like that. So that is kind of cool too, because I feel like, you know, it's like so much, you have like all of this going on. Like we have all of these wands in this card, right? And then we have like this, we, this big web and then we're weave, weaving that web. And again, it's about that action and all of that. And it's about like, maybe too for you, it's making it a community thing, making it, um, you know, not just you taking action. Maybe you're taking everyone for along for the ride. So, you know, it's time for you to recruit, maybe. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I know. That's the fun time. That's the fun part with the cards, too. Like, I always, like, find these little things in them that I feel like I didn't use, see before. And even for um, cards that I've used, like, forever. I'm like, oh, yeah, look at that. All right. I keep like really like messing, like scrambling these cards. All right. So that brings us to Pisces. <laughs> you are, right? You are in recruit. Oh my gosh. It's so true. All right. So our lovely Piscean folks, what do we got for you? We have the King of Swords. All right. Pisces. I feel that for you. It's about moving, moving forward, using your car, using your words rather, but in a really thoughtful way, but not so much 
an emotional way, right? So if we had the Queen of Swords, then we would kind of lean on that emotional part of it. But for the King of Swords, I think you, um, right. No, that's very true too. Yep, definitely. Um, oh my God, they do. Oh wait, I think it's supposed to be. Oh yeah, yeah, it's like, it's like a little pumpkin. Yeah, it is. Look, it's like a pumpkin. You can kind of see like the little like marks and it kind of looks like a pumpkin. Like look at his whole little body, right? These are so much fun. Let's see what else is in here. It's like the, the sun keeps coming in and out and I keep like losing it. See, and actually look at the, um, the swords are like the handle is a bat. I think that's really cool too. So Pisces, I think it's really, um, for you is just taking the emotion out of it. And I feel like you might have to kind of dole out some hard truths this week and really pay attention to that and pay attention to how you can deliver those things in a way, um, that isn't totally rude or mean, but still direct. Like, I feel like you need to be direct. I think so. I'm, I'm like legit studying this card right now. Um, I think it is a pumpkin. And then we have another demon butterfly. There's a lot going on in this card, right? Even his, like his hat. And then you have like kind of here, like these are skull faces, right? Pff, whatever, Pisces, you got all sorts of stuff happening here. All about it. So let's see what card we get. All right. And for those of you that are hopped on that haven't that are haven't hopped on with us before, I'm here every Monday um, from nine nine a.m. Pacific and twelve noon um, Eastern time. Yeah, it's, it is by a butterfly. I um yeah, no, it's really cool. And actually, look, there's like a skull here too. Um, there really is so much and. What was I saying? Oh yeah, this today was a little bit different for time because I had a, stuff's going on. I had to teach class, but um, what actually next week is a year that I have been doing my lives on here. Can you believe it? That went so fast. All right, so let's see. We have the skull of darks, uh, the skull of darkness, blind spots, and I. Kinda, th this is fun that we got this too because we're looking at every little bit of this card, right? Like we're really examining these cards. I feel like we could go through every single one of these and like for the next two hours and just come up with all sorts of stuff. Like I love this. Is pretty cool that there's a lot. There's a lot to get to draw from from these cards. Um, and there's our skull with his candle, like putting lights on the um. On, on, the, on all the blind spots. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know. I was like, how did that happen? I, I knew it was like coming up. So I had a look and I was like, oh, wow, it's been a year. So, so yeah. And that's what I have. I got everybody. Does anyone want me to pull them a card before we finish up here? Let me know. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know. I cannot keep these cards. These cards are like all over the place. So, you know, just as a reminder to everyone, we have that full moon in no new moon in Scorpio on Thursday and it's a biggie. So make it count, you know, make it count. If you're there, if you're in that headspace, then absolutely. I'll just draw you one because I see you. So I'll just draw one. All right, let's see. We have, ooh, the world, Inner Baco. We got the world for you. Um, so I love this, and I love getting the world at the beginning of a month, a new month, right? Like, cause then it means that like those possibilities are out there. Which ones are you going to take? Which which path are you go going to go down? And um, I think you need to really just make sure that your intention is clear when you do that, that make your intentions clear this month. I think that's really important for you. I like that one. Yeah, for sure. So who else? Who else? Let me see. Do, 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 do. All right. I'm going to draw one for, oh, I'm going to draw one for Big Bird, Pam's chicken, because she's been feeling a little yucky yuck. Hello. 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 Let's draw a card for her. Got the world again. <laughs> 
So Big Bird is the world's in front of her. So she just needs to rest and heal and do what she has to do and take her medicine and she'll be fine. <laughs> I love that. Okay. So we have Amber and then Sephira. All right. Woo. We have flipping cards. That's what we have. So Amber, let's see what we got for you. Ooh, Amber, we have the star. Yay, I love that. All right, so we have the, our look at the skull jug, jugs. I don't mean those jugs, I mean these jugs. Sorry, I had to. The tired delirium is setting in, I can't help it. We have virgins and jugs, it's all, it's all, it's all okay today. Um, Amber, like what, I think this is perfect for you for this new moon, like it's time to set those new intentions, those new things that you want, and um, really bring them in. It's time to bring it in, for sure. I love that. <laughs> See, you know, <clears throat> Amber, Safira, Pam, they all know me. I'm a total dork, and sometimes it just has to happen. It comes out. Yeah, it's all the jugs. You know, <clears throat> it's whatever jug you resonate with. <laughs> We're going there with it. Oh my gosh. Okay, Safira. Oh, your birthday is next week. So next week is Safira's birthday. All right. So happy birthday month, Safira. Let's pull you a birthday card. Let's see. Let's see. So, all right. So we got the five of swords. So I think that is a really interesting one because I feel like with this, it's basically like telling you, like, you know what? Cut your losses. If there's things that are not working for you this month, Safira, or haven't been working for you, it's time to let them go. It's time to just get going. We need to create a start. Yes. See, Jamie, you know, you know. I feel like that maybe there are some things that you've been trying to make work and that aren't working. And you know what, Safira, it's time to just let it go. It's time to done. These things aren't working. Let them go. Because you know what that's going to do? Leave you open for bigger and better things to happen. And, you know, leave open for new things to bring in. So use this new month and do that. <laughs> right? <laughs> We're going to have to tell them. We're going to have to be like, listen, you went and put those there. And now now we have issues. Now, now we, we're not going to stop talking about it ever. So there's that. All right. So now we have... Um, Jacqueline, all right, Jacqueline, we will pull you a card. First, let me shuffle. Oh, man, we're pretty funny, though, I have to admit. Ah, all right, well, you had a jumper, so there's that. We have the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles, Jacqueline. So what? It, what is it that is in your in your day in your um in your life that needs balance right now i feel like that you know that like you know that there are some things that you need to tweak and you need to move around and you need to make it so that your balance is fair for you it's productive and it you know it makes you feel good so whatever is working against you in making your balance work and and be successful, that's what you need to pay attention to. So there's that, Jacqueline. Time to, to do some work. That's okay. We all have to do work, right? We all need to do that. So a little brief of my Snoopy cup, <clears throat> which I will do. I'll be using all year round, not just now. No, I love that. Awesome, Callie. I love that. So, yeah. All right. I think I got everybody, right? I think I did. I think I did. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Well, everyone, come and hang out with tomorrow with Nancy and I at 9 Pacific, 12 Eastern. We're going to chat about our book and all the things. Um, and it's perfect for, yes, always Snoopy. Always. I bought, like, a whole bunch of other Snoopy, like, ice cups but they're not insulated so I can only use them sometimes because you know they get all like whatever but yes I love Snoopy um so come visit us tomorrow and then um 
next week we have Vix. She's going to come hang out with us next Tuesday. Make sure, you know, do your new moon stuff. Bring in some new things in this super awesome Scorpio season. And then um, I will see you next week at the regular time. All right, guys. You have a great day and week and all that fun stuff. Bye. Aw, thank you. Bye.